In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do a flash or quick silver effect to make it look like you're speeding like a superhero from one side of the screen to another. You can try this effect with videos of your family members, friends, or even your pets. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. First of all, when filming footage for the purpose of trying out this effect, it's highly recommended to use a tripod so that the footage is stable and stationary, which will make it easier to edit. You'll need to have some starting footage of your subject taking off before disappearing, and then also some footage where the subject isn't present for when they disappear. Finally, you'll have footage of the subject reappearing at a position further down in the frame. On AV Track 2, I have a video of my nephew in a Spider-Man mask running from the right to the left. I've already split this video into a few different sections using the split clips icon right here. I have split it just as he is about to take off into a run. And I've split it again once he's finished his run. Now in between these two clips, I have some footage of the backyard without him in it. This is to give the illusion that he has disappeared momentarily before landing at the left of the screen. In this middle clip where he has disappeared, I want it to be really fast. So I'm going to right click on the clip, then select Adjust Duration. I want to make this half a second long. Since this project is set at 30 frames per second, half a second would be 15 frames. So I'll adjust this to 0.15, which is 15 frames. Then click OK. Now what we want to do to make this effect look smoother is to add a way to transition from the frame with my nephew taking off to the frame where he disappears to make it look like he's speeding off really fast. The best way to do this is to use a photo editor like PaintShop Pro and create a PNG mask of the subject that will later blur here in Pinnacle Studio. First, we need to take a snapshot of the image that we want to mask. So I'm going to drag my playhead to the point on the timeline where my nephew is taking off in the frame directly before he disappears. You can use the step one frame backward and forward buttons under the preview pane to help you find the exact frame. Once you locate the frame, click on the snapshot button, which will take a snapshot image of the frame that we can then mask. To find out where this snapshot is saved on your computer, in order to open it up in your photo editor, go to Setup, then Control Panel. Then select Import, and you'll see where the snapshots are saved on your computer besides Snapshots directory. Now I have PaintShop Pro opened up with the snapshot that I just took. First, make sure your Layers palette is open by clicking on Palettes, then Layers. So now let's zoom up on the subject so it'll be easier to mask. Now choose a selection tool that will work best for your image. I'm going to use the freehand selection tool. You can adjust the smoothing level if you want so that the edges won't be so sharp. Now carefully mask around the subject, but it doesn't need to be perfect since we're going to be blurring this mask later anyways. Once you've finished masking your subject, right-click on the Layers palette and select Promote Selection to Layer. Now click on the eye icon beside the background image on the palette to remove the background and just leave the mask. You can clean up the edges with the eraser tool if you'd like, but since we're going to blur this, I'm okay with it as is. Now go to File and save it as a PNG file. I'm going to name it Taking Off Mask and then click Save. So now we're back in Pinnacle Studio, and make sure to import this mask into your project bin. Then drag it onto AV Track 1 on your timeline, and place it right after the subject takes off. So now if we drag our playhead across the timeline, you'll see we have this stationary mask over top of our original video. Double-click on the mask on AV Track 1 to bring up the effects editor. Go to Effect, then select Camera, and then click on Blur. A blur effect has now been added to the mask, but I want to blur this even more to create the illusion of speed. So under Blur Amount, adjust the horizontal bar to 17 and the vertical to 0. You can adjust these as much as you'd like. Now we'll need to adjust the length of the mask so it's just a quick flash. Let's right click on the mask clip and go to Adjust Duration 
and change this to two frames. And if I play this, you'll see he runs into a blur which makes it look like he's running really fast. Now you'll need to create and blur another mask using the final frame when he lands back into the scene. I already have this prepared, so I'll drag it onto AV Track 1, and this time I'll place the blurred mask right before he enters the shot so he's blurring into the scene. Again, I'll adjust the length of this mask to two frames. And then right click on the first mask and go to Effect, Copy All. Then right click on the second mask and select Paste to copy all of the properties from the blur effect onto the second mask. And finally, I'm going to add on a time travel swoosh sound effect from my project bin to AV Track 3, right as he takes off to complete my effect. Now let's preview the video, and you'll see I've turned my nephew into a little superhero. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Pinnacle Studio.